This is a quick video to show you how to be more effective and efficient in using Windows 7 using keyboard shortcuts. The first thing that many people know about is the Alt tab. Now most of us are used to this old style which came in previous versions of Microsoft Windows. You'd hold the Alt key and the Tab key and you would hit Tab each time you wanted to move through the list of applications. While it's not bad for using one or two applications, as you can see where you have a lot of applications or a lot of files using the same application, it can be very difficult to determine which file is actually open. In Windows 7, there's a new style that instead it shows you a screenshot of every open application. This includes a screenshot of every file that might be open that uses the same application. This allows you to quickly navigate between the different applications. However, in Windows 7 gives you several additional Alt Tab options. In addition to hitting Tab multiple times to move to the next item in the list, you can also use the left and right arrow keys. This will move you backwards and forwards through your list. So now if you go one too far, you can always move backwards in the list instead of having to go through the whole list of open files and applications. Additionally, if you have more than one row of files open that show when you hit the Alt tab, you can use the up and down arrow keys to move through the list more efficiently. Even more efficiently, you can click on any of the icons with your mouse and jump immediately to that open application slash file. This becomes very efficient. Do remember you must hold the Alt key down the entire time when using these keyboard shortcuts. The next set of keyboard shortcuts involves using the Windows key. Now the Windows key became available on most keyboards after Windows 95 came out. You'll usually find it in the bottom left hand side and sometimes also the bottom right hand side of your keyboard. Windows key and E held at the same time will automatically open the Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer will allow you to navigate through your file system to open files that you need to use. Windows key R is not used very often but when you need it, it becomes very important. Windows key R opens the run window, which allows you to type in a file name to be executed automatically. The Windows key P is useful if you have multiple monitors set up on your computer. As you can see here, highlighted, I have computer only shown. But you can also choose to duplicate your monitor that way, the same information is being sent to both monitors. You can extend. This gives you like an extra widescreen, which allows you to see your content move from one side to the other, or you can set it up to only be on the second monitor. As you can see in this example, it shows as projector only, because most of the time when you do something like this, you're only sending it to a projector. Windows key D will minimize all open windows so you can see your desktop. If you press Windows key and D again, it will restore all of your open windows back to the way it was when you originally minimized them. Windows key F used to be known as Windows Find, now it's just known as your search or search results. This allows you to try to search and locate files on your local machine. Windows key L is useful if you use to lock your desktop. This is most commonly used in a lab or office environment where you have to log into a machine each time you go and use it. You can still use Control Alt and Delete and then choose to lock your desktop which is your first item from the menu but Windows key L is a much faster way of doing it because it requires fewer keys to be pressed and fewer steps to process. 
Another example of a keyboard shortcut that does not require the Windows key is the print screen. Almost every keyboard is going to have this. Now just clicking print screen is going to take a snapshot of my entire screen. This is going to include my taskbar and all open applications that I can currently see. If I press the Alt key while pressing the print screen, this will take a snapshot of my active application, the one that I'm currently in. Once I have this captured image, I can paste it into any application that accepts images. This would be an application like Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, or other applications that allow you to paste in images. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this information will help you be able to use Microsoft Windows in a more efficient and effective manner.